Right, hello, welcome back. Uh, so the last video I did on Home Assistant was some time ago. So I'm gonna start getting back into doing a few more Home Assistant videos now. So what I want to do on this video is I'm going to show you how to install a bit of a bit of a niche thing, how to install Home Assistant on Proxmox. Now Proxmox, if you don't already know, is a, um, a virtual platform, a virtual environment, allowing you to run virtual machines on your own hardware. Um, you can install this fairly easily, but I'm not going to go into details on that. So if you've got Proxmox installed, that's great. If you don't, there are loads of videos on that already out there. Now to get Home Assistant running on here, fairly straightforward. There are scripts out there you can just download and use if you want. But what I'm going to do today is just do it from scratch because it doesn't take a lot of effort to do it. Um, so I'm just going to guide you through that process quickly. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Home Assistant website, get yourself onto here, go down to installation choose other systems and then here, and we're going to copy the link to the KVM slash Proxmox QCAL2 file. So we'll copy that and we're gonna go onto the server, we'll SSH to our Proxmox machine and we will just download that file. Now, while that's downloading, we're gonna go into the Proxmox interface and we're gonna create the virtual machine itself. So we'll do that, we'll create virtual machine and we're gonna uh, choose a node, which we've only got one, so we'll put it on there and we'll call it Home Assistant. We'll go next, and now we don't want an OS to start with because we're going to use the uh, Proxmox image. We're going to just change the machine type to Q35, and we're going to change the BIOS to UEFI. We wanted to add the EFI disk, so we're going to select the EFI storage volume as our only one we've got. If you've got more than one, you might want to choose a different one. And because we're not installing Windows, we can turn off pre roll keys. We'll remove this blank disk that it's going to come with. We don't need that, and we will specify that we want two CPU cores. We'll increase the amount of RAM to 496 for a four gig, and we want it to be on the network. That's great, no problem there, and confirm. That's gonna go here and create a machine. This has got um, machine number 100. Now, the Home Assistant uh, operating system has downloaded, so we're gonna uh, extract that. We can use the unxz command to do that. It takes a couple of seconds. Shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. So then we're going to use the QM import disk. We specify 100 because that's the ID of the machine. The path to our QCAL2 file, and then which um, volume we want to store on, which in our case is local LVM. Run that, and that will add the disk to this virtual machine. If we go and look at the virtual machine, and we get under hardware, we'll see we've got this unused disk. Let's click into that. Now I'm using an SSD, so I'm gonna tick the discard button. If you're not, you don't need to, and then press add. Now, you can see here all the specifications for our machine, where it's all connected to, very straightforward. Let's press start up here, and then over here, we're gonna press console, which will open up a console to see exactly what this virtual machine is doing. Actually, I forgot to do one thing. We need to go to options. I'm gonna press stop again. We're gonna to go to boot order, going to specify iSCSI, untick the other two, and press OK, and press Start. This time, it'll hopefully find our new disk. So here we go, it's booting into the operating system now for us, the Home Assistant OS. We'll give this just a second to boot up. Now you only have to do this when you first install it. When um, you get updates, this will be updated all through the Home Assistant UI. The Home Assistant operating system provides a huge amount of flexibility for you to do things like install add-ons um, and other things like that. So here, IPv4 address uh, 172.16.158. So let's go to that 172.16.158 colon 8.123 and we are immediately greeted by the Home Assistant web UI, which is now preparing. So we will just wait. It says it takes up to 20 minutes, but it doesn't, it takes a few minutes. Once that's finished though, you can just go ahead, install your Home Assistant install. And that's really how easy it is to get started on Proxmox. If you're gonna be playing or doing developing or playing around with Home Assistant, this is a great way just to create lots of installs of Home Assistant really quickly. Um, the alternative is to using something like the Raspberry Pi imaging tool and just putting on SD card for showing in a Raspberry Pi, um, but that can be a little bit slow. So hopefully that was useful. Hopefully you found that uh, useful and it was um, fairly succinct. I don't like to waste too much time on that. Um, but if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you like that, find it useful, click like. I'll try and do a few more videos on Home Assistant 
as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.